What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar. And uh, <laughs> I found this uh, video. It's called Gen Z is Aging Like Milk. And that is hilarious, bro. I wanted to watch this video with y'all and just see what y'all think, bro. It is funny, though. Like, I'm a 90s baby. And maybe I, if I didn't tell y'all my age, y'all wouldn't even know, for real. My eyes look all wide. Like, you'd be surprised how, like, how old the ages I be getting when I'm out and about or when I'm meeting people. It's insane. So, oh, please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. We are so close, bro. I'm trying to get the sponsors, bro. I'm trying to be able to get paid from this shit, bro. Y'all come on, boy. Y'all help your boys. Let's get these numbers back up. Please. Please and thank you. All right. Let's uh, get into the video. I'll make it large for everybody. And uh, let's see what they got to say. I was humbled so quick tonight. I was on live with my boyfriend and someone was like, how old's your girlfriend? And John jokingly responds, 47. And the girl comments, oh, I thought she was early 30s. <laughs> I am 23. All right, so in today's episode of BSR <laughs> Phone on the Internet, I found this hey. video right here. Gen Z is aging like milk by Pegasus. And with that said, let's get straight into it. Subscribe. What Gen Z fuck? is aging like milk. Okay, there's a trend going around where Gen Z is freaking out because they realize they look really old. Starting with this clip from Jordan the Stallion. Apparently, Gen Z is like aging really rapidly. It is mainly because of the stress. Come here. We live in a time nowadays where millennials look way younger for their age, while Gen Z looks way older for their age. If you don't believe me, I'm Gen Z. Get closer. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop lying. I thought, bro, I did not know how young he was, bro. Like, I thought he was, like, older than me. Like, that. Hey, Stop lying, bro. Like, if you were Gen Z, I'm Chinese. When my mom and I walk out in public, people think that my mom is my younger sister. Bro, this man looked like he divorced. This man looked like he's two years divorced, three kids, and a baby mama that he bro. has to pay child support to. Dead ass, bro. Crazy. <laughs> it is sad, bro. Like, get up there. It's for real, bro. Like, Gen Z, bro. Like, when I be seeing them out in public, bro, like, like, um, like I was in Target a while back and uh this lady had commented my pants and i was like oh thank you and then she said something like uh can i wear these at like what like do i get to wear these like at school or some shit like that and i was like school and i was like uh i'm not in school no more and she was like what you're not in college or something she was she was like oh i thought you was like in college because like i had long story short, i had a koski pants on so i guess they was too loud you know like and even still like can't you wear whatever you want in college i could in college anyway but she asked i don't know if she was just trying to chop up conversation or what but i was like no like you know how old do you think i am and then she said uh like 23 24 and I laughed, and then um, she had said, how old do you think I am? And I said, uh, early 40s, you know, late 30s. Man, the girl was like 28, bruh. I felt so bad when she told me how old she was. And I was like, let me make it big for y'all. Bruh, I was like, bro, I was shook, bruh. Like, them motherfuckers look like, or oh, like, it's like spoiled milk at this point, bro. It's sad, bro. <laughs> when I tell people, oh, I'm gonna go ahead. And he's, and it's sad too, like, that nigga look old as fuck. This nigga been old forever on the internet, bro. This nigga been on the internet for like six, seven years down there. He's been looking like this. That's crazy. 
hang out with my family. They think I'm talking about my children. I don't have <laughs> kids, right? I'm talking about my parents. I'm still the child. All right, when he took when he took the glasses off, he actually looks younger. Maybe if he shaved his beard, he looked like 10 years younger. That makes sense. I'll, I'll put it to you like this. Zendaya is older than me. How old is Zendaya? Tom Holland is older than me. That's, you know what I'm saying right now? There was one time I wanted an <laughs> autograph from Dwayne The Rock Johnson, right? I was standing for hours for this autograph. And when he walked up to me, I said, can you please sign this poster? It's for Jordan, right? He then took it and put, dear Jordan, your dad is a great guy. He stood out here for hours and then gave it back to me. And before I can correct him, he looked at me and said, times were way more difficult back when we were kids. Am I right? And then he tapped my shoulder and left. And, uh, Dwayne is 52. <laughs> I'm 26. Damn! What I'm saying is, so Gen Z definitely looks older. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, so that guy's name is Jordan. <laughs> he is 26 years old, and he's he's 26. Okay, it might be the beard, man. If he did shave the beard down, especially the mustache, I think is how thick his mustache. Is. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <clears throat> Subscribe. <laughs> Man, what the hell was that? All right, so I think it's a mustache, man. How thick the mustache is. If he shaved it down, he probably would look younger. Cause without the glasses, he does look younger. And Gen nah, Z. Have you didn't old, know the bro. age range Gen Z is from? That nigga look old, bro. Quit lying. Twelve to twenty-seven. Twelve to so twenty-seven. He... So I just turned. So I am the on the cusp of Gen Z, man. Cause I was born nineteen ninety-seven. I just turned twenty-seven back in July. I'm Gen Z. So out of Gen Z, man. <laughs> I think in, in his case, I think it's just a look he's gone for. Like, if you shave, you'll probably drop another 10 years. I'm pretty much the same. Like, with a beard, I look 55. But then if you shave it off, I look about 12. So it's not too bad. I mean, he still looks good and everything. I think he's he's one of those guys who ages gracefully. Meaning at, like, 45, he'll probably look the exact same as he does now. Yeah, so I want to say something. Because I know this guy back in my high school. Like, he used to look old as shit. This man, like a grown-ass man, look about, about 26, 28. Mm -hmm. A junior in high school looking about 26, 28, damn near 30. But he never aged after that. He just looks the same. So as he gets to 40, he's probably going to still look the same and not too far off. So it's like some people just age, they just age up fast and then they stay at that point for a while. That might be him right there. The way I screamed no when he said I'm Gen Z, I screamed, you said Zendaya is older than me. I would have never guessed your own. This man said Zendaya. Zendaya. Give me your hand. Yeah. Give me a hand. <clears throat> Don't ever make that mistake again in your life. Subscribe. My condolences, Gen Z. 26, what stress are y'all going through? <laughs> now, the real problem comes that when we start true. looking into these other posts. This girl asked her audience what age she looked. Most guessed 30s and 40s. She's 22. <laughs> what the fuck? Golly. <laughs> she's 22? All right, just from seeing this picture right here, I would say she's about 28. No, bro. Just from seeing this. He cap, bro. It's all that look like you don't like look at all that like work she's done had done at 22. Like, bro, why do you need all that work done, bro? What are you running from? Right here. Actually, you look like you're pushing 45. Stop getting filler or Botox, whatever you have. It looks so bad. Thank you. Exactly. 45? Yeah. Why are you getting filler and Botox at 22, man? Exactly. Why? I get like, okay, maybe like late 20s, 30s. 22. Yeah. Shocker. When I first started TikTok and started making filler videos, like come get filler with me or Botox, I used to get these hate comments all the time. There's just people on TikTok that absolutely hate cosmetic procedures yeah i know that comment shook her soul man because the the main reason they go ahead and get these fillers and botox is to look younger and just the fact that people are telling her that she looks old as shit for her age defeats the whole purpose of her getting fillers and botox and on top of that old women when they get that just that's just the look that them old rich white women look so you 22 getting that shit already picture when you actually 40 45 the age where they get that shit oh my gosh she's gonna be looking like a freight train so she is crushed bro just look at her eyes block out everything else and just pay attention to the eyes as she speaks she is crushed i didn't get that look at that and again i think it's a personal preference like if i want she cried before making this video to get filler i feel like no one should stop you from getting filler because it's your own face but people always told me that i look older and i get it 
I look older. I might act older. Um, but 45? All right, 45 is pushing it. I'll say she looked 28, 30, around. Nah, he's still trying to smash. That bitch look 45, bro. <laughs> there, but 45 is pushing. Certain angles, she looked younger, like 26, 27. But as I listen to her speak and her mannerism, she's, she does seem older. She got an older aura to her. And before I- He trying not to get canceled. Y'all don't listen to this. I used to cry over these comments and used to delete them and block the account. But now I'm just like, I just laugh at it because I know it's not true. Yeah, yeah. Nah, she's still hurt. You're fooling me. You're definitely not laughing. You're definitely not laughing, man. She she literally this meme right now. Brave face, but crying on the inside. <laughs> Get that meme. <laughs> okay, I just gotta say, as a completely neutral party over here, not trying to not trying to say anything, but yeah, she does actually look forty five. I'd venture Thank maybe you. even fifty five. Wait, what? Thank you. The black dude trying to smash, bro. He ain't, bro. Come on, man. It's okay, dog. It's okay, dog. You can just say that's your type. You want to get a little nookie nookie. So you trying to, you know, if she ever see that. But no, nigga. She old. She was old. <laughs> Yo, this man said he's going to remain a neutral party. <laughs> and then goes on to destroy her. <laughs> this man said 45 to 55. Come she on now, does, man. Come on. Dude. Like, she, she don't look 45 yes, or does. 55. That's really pushing it. Yes, you does. sure no, about not. that? That's Wait. pushing it to the max. She does not look 45 or no, 55, man. Stop it. You um, sure about that? I'll you. give her 30, 28, 30, maybe. He keep changing. You see how he keep going up slowly? No, bro. Let it go. At the most. At the absolute most. 35. 45, 55? That's crazy. I can't talk. I look like a freaking Goomba that got stomped on by Mario. I'm just being honest. Like these TikTok comments. And this is probably a result of all these fillers or procedures that she's having done at such a young age. Yeah, I feel like nobody, literally nobody should be getting Botox or fillers or any kind of work done on your face at the young age of 22. Like I've seen celebrities, they put on all this filler and Botox and then later on they'll get rid of it and they actually look better when they get rid of the fucking fillers and botox you ain't lying. so it's like exactly dude like all that shit is unnecessary and i don't know why white women do that shit bro like that shit looks so ugly and then like if you you turn it to like a rub like rubber bro and then they're like you go go out go find one of them and like just feel like their lips or their face and stuff they feel like Luffy. If y'all ever want to know what Luffy feels like in real life, that's what it feels like. It's like they're getting this and it initially makes them look a little bit better. And then over time, it kind of fucks with their face and skin because it's not, things aren't properly working and flowing in there because the Botox is inhabiting, inhibiting, <laughs> inhibiting the fucking natural flow of blood and everything to your face. Because for example, who recently did that? I think Black China. Black China did that. She got rid of her, is it Black China? I think it's Black China. She did that. She got rid of the fillers. I think she got rid of her BBO too. And she actually looks better and healthier. At least grow into yourself a little bit, right? At least, you know, spend a couple of years working on yourself through, you know, the natural means of diet and exercise. And Ain't no way he just said natural and put the liver king on there. <laughs> Listen, man, we know this man shoot up enough drugs to kill an elephant. Stop it. Get some help. Anything's better than flipping injecting sh into your faith, okay? These mega companies kind of guilt trip you into thinking you should be applying all these products every single day. And if you don't apply them, you're gonna die or something. You're gonna look ugly. But then, kind of the opposite happens. The people who end up staying very natural just naturally have good right, looks because right. you know that's the way our ancestors kind of did it. Here's some of the comments. Why the hell are you all getting fillers at 22? Exactly, bro. Listen, man. All y'all need is a good skincare routine to get your blemishes and stuff and make sure your face is healthy, bro. Like, look at my face, bro. This shit is healthy, bro. And wash your face. Not with no fucking all-in-one shampoo bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Some folks use, um, what's that, T. Chinley stuff. Some people use, uh, damn, I can't even think of, uh, the the companies i use i got a, a brand that i use and uh if y'all want me to like show like all my face stuff i'll probably make a a youtube short and show y'all in the bathroom like all the stuff that i do like because i just i just use a face wash 
I use a beer a beer wash and then I use a face lotion and then I lotion my beard and that's that's it bro that's all you need bro that's all you need and then make sure your body washes some good healthy body wash so your skin don't dry and stuff and you good to go bro you know what I'm saying keep your hair good that's all you need in life bro put you some spray on you straight bro you ain't got to do all that extra bullshit bro and then oh my gosh bro just make sure your face ain't got no acne she does look 45 no one should stop her from getting fillers yes i hope she's happy okay this thing about okay yeah you should be allowed to do what you want but if this is the result <laughs> is that really what you want to do i mean sure <laughs> go ahead if, if you want to if you want to look 45 at age 22 go ahead and do all this shit nobody's stopping you but come on we should be allowed to speak out against this believe it or not even stuff like makeup is probably bad for you because there's a ton of chemicals that you should not be putting in your face but it's just so normalized and that everybody's doing it and you feel like hey if this person's doing it if i don't use it i'm just gonna look uglier than them so that's why you kind of get in this rat race over here but yeah makeup is a <laughs> it's just a really tough thing for women because a lot of them will wear it because they feel it insecure about certain things like they can't step out the house without makeup at all they can't function without makeup on your face they can't show themselves to people without makeup on their face and that is actually a huge problem like you can't show me your natural skin the way you naturally look like you're afraid to show me that that just that just makes me feel for you, man. Like I'm like, damn, man. And then what's crazy, dude? They all put on makeup for each other. Niggas don't, bro. Actual dudes don't like that shit, bro. We all don't like. Like it's cool or whatever, but we like what we gonna see every day. We like that face, your bare face, when we wake up to. That's the face we looking at when we smashing. That's the face we looking at when we eating. That's the face we looking at when we're going down the street to Walmart or something. That's the face we looking at when we getting on y'all goddamn nerves, picking at you, start trying to start a fight. That's like the natural bear you is what us dudes want. And they would never get that in their head. They would never get that in their head ever ever bro unless some other person that they really like tell them and then they get it to the head but shit sad out here hit right here you can't live in your natural skin yeah i i just you know i'd stay away personally okay but i'm not i'm a, I'm a guy i'm a guy so what, what do i know right oh my god saying she looks 45 is an insult to women who are 45 and look way better than this damn Man. the girls are coming for her in the comments i did not i did not expect that <laughs> i expected it because they telling her like she looks stupid doing that <laughs> the girls are coming for her bro it's damn friendly fire She's lucky no one said mid 50. Yeah, Twitter is even more ruthless than TikTok. Here's a quote tweet. What does 22 year old and so many others fail to realize that when they go for these trends, laminated brows, lash extensions, fake tan, Botox, filler, bleach, blonde hair, etc. Is that they look like the old women that are trying to look young. Exactly. You get this sort Thank of artificial you. look. Not saying that I've tried it. Okay, obviously I haven't tried it. I don't have personal experience, but I don't think you need personal experience. You can kind of see the results of this sh on social media and, you know, applying products on your face is one thing but then you know some people take it too far with the plastic surgery you know we saw example one example two example three you oh really want to turn God. out like these people no stay away okay don't get influenced by south korean doll look or like whatever these people are brainwashing you through social media watch pegasus and stay sane okay this super blonde <laughs> hair ages a lot of women to work with your coloring <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure the mm. hair is the problem. The hair. <laughs> That's a coping mechanism right there, if I haven't heard one. That is great advice right there. Come on, just stay away from the artificial shit. Eat, eat normal, normal, single ingredient healthy foods. Exercise and maybe, maybe you Good can advice. somehow wash this away. I don't know if exercise can fix this, honestly. Because the damage seems to be done, but you know. I was humbled so quick tonight. I was on live with my boyfriend and someone was like, how old's your girlfriend? And John jokingly responds, 47. And the girl comments, oh, I thought she was early 30s. Oh, I am shit. 23. You're a victim. Mm. <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. Shit, 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 shit. Would I have guessed 23? I'd have to see. Like, she has a lot of makeup on, man. Um, 
Yeah, she looks like she could be 23, 25, bro. She looks like it. Some people just say shit to be mean. <laughs> nah, bro. He, he, he trying not to get canceled, bro. Say that shit for what it really is. But she looks like she could be 23. Maybe 25, you know? Yeah, like, she looks good. She just kind of looks like a mom. Definitely. She does look like a mom, but part of it is the the way she's like, she has the per the mom pearls. She has the red mom lipstick, the the mom bracelet. Like it's just scream mom that's trying to still be hip and cool, but you know she, you can tell she's really boring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'd say yeah, more thirties than twenties, but I feel like that's kind of yeah. the aesthetic she went for. Yeah, see, it's bruh, the thirties, bruh. Like just uh, the the clothes, the dressing, the style, bro. What I tell you, bro, I know this. It shit. just gives off more mom vibes, you it know. This you. lady is my. Hey, we gotta find his page, bro. He on point. The black dude just trying to hit age, by the way, which which is weird. In my head, I'm still fifteen. I'm still a kid. Okay, I don't I don't know. The fact that these people are my age, that's crazy, bro. Wow. It's gotta be the microplastics, dog. It's it's definitely don't touch the receipt at your cashier. It's estrogenic, actually. They were just brutal. Twenty three, I was thinking thirty three. I thought thirty five. Yeah. I was thinking mid to late thirties. I'm thinking thirty five. Jesus, you don't need to be so honest. Ay ay ay. There's a fine line when it comes to baby Botox injections fillers and vapes are among the sneaky culprits making gen z look older than millennials if you vape i was about to say things that uh cannot be said on youtube but you, you get my message if you vape all right <laughs> if you vape okay <laughs> experts it's warn true. as cosmetic procedures soar among the younger generation it is not uncommon to see 18 year olds with lip filler yeah i think surgeries botox fillers they're definitely on an all-time high now man because we're living in a social media age where everyone is caring about their looks even more you know what i'm saying the way they look online looks is like a very top of the line thing now like there there's a big there's a huge emphasis on looks now than it was back then so surgeries botox all that is getting more and more popular especially with our generation man it's crazy it is what it is it is, it is what it is he added the 20 year olds are getting botox and fillers semi-permanent makeup in the form of eyebrows and lips these procedures combined can make you appear older perry said and actually once you start going down this route it's very hard to go back to being entirely natural especially when the affirmations start on social media that's right get all your mm. self-esteem from losers on social media like tiktokers Reddit. That's true, bro. And it was crazy about all this, like when you when it boils down to it, is that these females getting all this validation from online from the creeps who want younger females, but they want them to look older so they don't feel weird when they take them out. But yet all the creeps and weirdos that's giving these girls validation, these girls will never date them in real life won't even open up a deal won't even look their way and so you have this never-ending cycle of just like bullshit because if these women saw these dudes in real life they would not talk to them and then a lot of these dudes that would see them in real life because they look so much older they don't want nothing to do with them because they want something younger and then you find out that they are young. It's just like, eh. Well, if you look at like that, ain't no telling how many dudes are ran through. It's a cycle, bro. It's a it's a psychological cycle, bro. Twitters, Twitters, TikTokers, and I said that twice. Okay, I have brain damage. Number one, guys, stop obsessing over your appearance. It just never ends well. Number two, stop putting trash in your body in the form of chemicals. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with looking at yourself and seeing, oh, I need to get more sleep, or I need to do this, I need to do that. But when you get obsessive with it, like every fucking minute, you have to look in the mirror and like just just pick apart your fucking cell or the atom. <laughs> You're looking so much that you see the atom. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's obsessive, man. That's obsessive. And yeah, eating better foods will also help. Drinking a lot of water will help. Where's my water bottle, by the way? I gotta set an example. I've been recently drinking a gallon of water every day, man. And if y'all want this water bottle right here, it's on Amazon. Link below. Subscribe!
God, McDonald's, six billion ingredients, frozen food products. They're all poisoning you. They're all killing you. Number three, social media is going to roast you regardless of how you look. So don't take it too seriously. Don't take That's it to facts. heart. Although there might be a little bit of truth to it. Okay. Facts. Like everyone gets roasted. Even like, even like the best looking people would still get roasted at some, in some way in the comment section. All right. So if we go ahead and look at my guy's Austin Dunham's page right here. We go to his shorts. So this video right here is called How Women Actually Treat Handsome Men. And let's look at the comments. They will find something to roast you on or comment on you on. Very strategic. They have a little bit of game. They'll actually try to downplay your looks to make you feel average or normal to either keep your ego unchecked or to keep their status or physical attraction levels above yours. And I guarantee you that someone will roast him for something in the comment section. And look at this. That umbrella walk was zesty as fuck. What did you say, nigga? See? Everybody get roasted on the internet. Everybody get roasted on the internet, no matter how attractive you are. Never get plastic surgery unless your face is literally burnt off and it hurts for people to look at you, okay? Most people, just 99.9% .9 of people, do not need it, okay? It'll just make you feel worse. Love yourself, be happy, be healthy. That's a good message right there. We gotta get back to our natural looks, man. Like, loving ourselves for who we are. We gotta get yep. back to that, man. We have to. Yep. We have to take the necessary steps to relearn unconditional love for ourselves and the way we look. And if you don't like the way you look, like say if you're a refrigerator defeater, go to the gym and eat healthier. You don't have to go to the doctor and get the fat sucked out of you. Just do it naturally, man. You're gonna feel better about yourself. You're gonna feel like you accomplished something and you're gonna look a lot better and gain the experience of how to lose weight. There's a lot that comes with that experience, man, because trials and tribulations will make you come out a much better person. It's like we go through the pressure to come out as a diamond. The experience, it's like the journey is better than the destination, man. So once you're a certain weight and then you get to your ideal goal, your ideal weight, your physique is on point the way you want it. You're gonna look back on the journey. You're like, damn, I really did this every day. I woke up, I went for a run. I was in the gym 2 p.m. every day, just working, pumping that iron, man, lifting that weight. You're gonna remember all that and your body's gonna retain the experience and you're gonna have the wisdom because you lived it, you've done it, you've been in it. What did he say? But if you go to the doctor and- Bro, he's preaching to the choir. We live in a world where everybody's on instant gratification they need that shit now they need that shit yesterday there's a surgery for everything get that shit sucked out of you what experience do you have what have you accomplished nothing you just spent a bunch of money to get the fat sucked out of you just to get fat again in the future all right and with that said y'all i'll see y'all in the next one yeah that's a good uh i just wanted to make this quick one for saturday i told you i'm trying to get back in motion. i don't know if i want to get back to the uh videos on I don't know if I want to make more videos for the week or, but I'm slowly getting back to the motion. The views is trash right now, but I appreciate y'all sticking out with me, man. I feel better. I feel healthy. I feel great. And with that being said, you know what I may do? Start making shorts and TikToks. Walking while I walk. I think that's the next move. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the, in the comment. Uh, description. I know this video is kind of weird. We had three fucking people talking about the same shit. Oh well. Inception, motherfucker. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace out.